Hello and welcome. My name is Hannah, and I'm a scientist. I study animals. I want to show you two animals with amazing life cycles. The first is a butterfly, and it lives across Europe. Let's take a look. This is the peacock butterfly. The pattern on its wings is beautiful, but it's also important. The circles look like eyes. Bigger animals than the butterfly are scared of the eyes. To a mouse, it can look like a bird's head. The peacock butterfly can live for eleven months. That's a long time for a butterfly. How does it do that? It finds a tree, and it hibernates through the cold winter months. In the spring, the peacock butterfly emerges from hibernation. This is the first stage of its life cycle. First, the butterfly finds a mate. Then, it finds a plant in a sunny place, and lays its eggs on the leaves. The eggs are green and very small. After about ten days. Black caterpillars come out of the eggs. This is the second stage of the life cycle. The caterpillars are hungry, and they eat the leaves around them. The caterpillars grow bigger and bigger every day. Now, they have to be careful. This is a dangerous time. Because birds can easily see them, and eat them. The third stage in the life cycle is amazing, because the caterpillar changes. It grows a chrysalis around its body. Why don't animals eat the chrysalis? They want to eat it. But they can't see it. The chrysalis looks like a leaf. That's smart. The fourth and last stage of the life cycle is more amazing than before. Inside the chrysalis, this animal is changing again. After about two weeks. The chrysalis slowly opens. A new peacock butterfly emerges. At first, it has to wait. It can't fly because its wings are wet. It's summer now. The butterfly flies from flower to flower. It has to eat a lot before the fall, and it's time. To hibernate. Now let's leave Europe, and move to the rainforests of Central and South America. The red-eyed tree frog is nocturnal. It lives in the trees, and it's good at jumping and climbing. Its feet can stick to the leaves. It has some amazing colors on its body: big red eyes, orange or red feet, a bright green body, and a blue and yellow pattern on its body. That's a lot of colors for a small frog. The colors on the red-eyed tree frog are beautiful, and also important. In the day, it sleeps on a green leaf. 
animals can't see it because it looks like the leaf. Its big red eyes can scare bigger animals. In the rainy season, the frog finds a mate. Then it finds a leaf above a pond and lays its eggs. The eggs stick to the leaf. This is the first stage of the frog's life cycle. This is a dangerous time in the red eyed tree frog's life cycle. Snakes and big insects want to eat the eggs. After some days, all the eggs open and tadpoles emerge. This is the second stage in the frog's life cycle. The tadpoles slide down the leaf and drop into the water below. The tadpoles live in the water and they eat very small insects. They have tails and they look more like fish than frogs. The third stage in the life cycle is amazing because the tadpole changes its body. The tadpole is growing and changing. First, it grows back legs, then, it grows front legs. It has a tail, but this is also changing. The tail is getting smaller and smaller. Slowly, the tadpole changes to a small brown froglet. A froglet is a very young frog. It doesn't breathe underwater now, it comes out of the water and breathes. The froglet moves from the water to the plants around the water. Its front and back legs get stronger, and it can climb now. Slowly, this small froglet changes from brown to the bright colors of the adult frog. This is the fourth and last stage of the frog's life cycle. The sky is dark. The red eyed tree frog wakes up. It's time to catch an insect for breakfast. What did you think? These are two amazing stories of animal life cycles. There are four stages for the butterfly and four stages for the frog, but they are very different. Can you remember them? Goodbye for now.